Measurement of length Meter is the standard unit of length. The multiples and submultiples of meter are centimeter and kilometer. The short form of meter is m, the short form of centimeter is cm and the short form of kilometer is km. We measure small distances or measurements in centimeters and meters. For example, to measure a screw, that is, to find out the length of a screw, we use a scale. The scale is marked in centimeters. 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. 1000 meters is equal to 1 kilometer. We can add, subtract, multiply and also the meters and centimeters. Let us see a few examples. Addition 4 meters and 40 centimeters plus 3 meters 30 centimeters. Together we get 7 meters and 70 centimeters. Subtraction Here is an example for this. Take a log length of 3 meters, cut a length of 1.5 meters. Let us see the measurement of the log which is cut. Look at the example. 3 meters minus 1 meter 50 centimeters. We get the answer 1 meter 50 centimeters. Multiplication. Take 5 pieces of ribbons each measure 2 meters length. What is the total length of all the ribbons? Here is the solution. Length of each ribbon is equal to 2 meters. Length of 5 ribbons is equal to 2 meters into 5 is equal to 10 meters. Division. How many stone pillars are required to fence a border of length 400 meters with a gap of 5 meters? Here is the solution. At the end of every 5 meters, a stone pillar is needed. At the end of 400 meters, now let us do this. 400 meters by 5 meters is equal to 80. Therefore, we can say 80 stone pillars are required. Now let us concentrate on the table of measurement of length. 10 millimeters is equal to 1 centimeter. 10 centimeters is equal to 1 decimeter. 10 decimeters is equal to 1 meter. 10 meters is equal to 1 decameter. 10 decameters is equal to 1 hectometer. And 10 hectometers is equal to 1 kilometer. We have already learnt 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. And 1 kilometer is equal to thousand meters. Points to remember. Meter is the standard unit for measuring length. Division of length by a whole number results in length. Division of length by length results in a number. Measurement of capacity. A liter is the standard unit for measuring capacity or volume. The short form of liter is L. The submultiple of liter is milliliter. The short form of milliliter is called ML. 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliter. Measurement of capacity is required to measure milk, water, etc. And especially the liquids are measured in liters and milliliters. As the above, we can add, subtract, multiply and divide the liters and milliliters. Now let us see how to divide the capacity by a whole number or quantity. Here is an example. If 2 liters of milk is poured equally into 20 cups, how much milk is poured in each cup? Here is the solution. Let us convert 2 liters into milliliters. That is, 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters, 
2 liters is equal to 2 into 1000 milliliters which results in 2000 milliliters that is 20 cups hold 2000 milliliters of milk then each cup holds 2000 milliliter by 20 is equal to 100 milliliters therefore each cup holds 100 milliliter of milk thus we can say that measurement of capacity is useful in our daily life points to remember a liter is the standard unit for measuring capacity or volume one liter is equal to thousand milliliters measurement of weight weight is an important measure needed in our daily life the standard units of weight or grams the multiples of weight is kilogram one kilogram is equal to thousand grams the short form of gram is g the short form of kilogram is kg we use the following instruments to weigh an object hand balance table balance and spring balance etc we can see these in the shops nearby our houses as we have learnt already we can add subtract multiply and also divide the weights now let us see how to divide the weights division of weight by whole number here is an example a biscuit packet contains 10 pieces and weighs 100 grams what is the weight of each biscuit look at the solution weight of biscuit packet is equal to 100 grams number of biscuits is equal to 10 weight of each biscuit is equal to 100 divided by 10 is equal to 10 grams this can also be written as 1 into 100 divided by 10 is equal to 10 grams now let us see the division of weight by a quantity of weight example 1 kilogram of apples cost rupees 72 what is the cost of 500 grams of apples look at the solution cost of 1 kg of apples is equal to 72 rupees 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams cost of 500 grams of apples is equal to 500 by 1000 is equal to 1 by 2 now divide the amount with 1 by 2 that is 1 by 2 into 72 that is 72 by 2 is equal to 36 rupees therefore the cost of 500 grams apples is equal to 36 rupees points to remember gram is the standard unit of measuring weight division of weight by a whole number results in weight Division of weight by weight results in a number that is amount etc. 1000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram.